Greetings everyone. So today I want to talk about 8K cables. I got this in my mailbox because it was delivered to me from a source that I will leave in the description of where you can pick up this cable. But before we get into all of that, let's talk about 8K. Now 8K, like the boxer, is coming. When? I don't know. You have to wait until the device can support 8K. Because the only thing that support 8K right now is probably some game system and some Blu-ray players that can output that bandwidth, right? So everything is pretty much 4K right now. That's the standard. You can find 4K in a lot of stuff, even on streaming services, right? Now, because it's not that popular, TVs that support 8K, yes, they are available, but they're in limited, right? So even if the TV is capable of, and you can purchase the TV, the information that's fed to those TV is very limited. Because like I said, only few media support 8K right now. So like the box says, 8K is coming. I get it, right? So even though I'm here to review this product, right? I wouldn't even be able to even show you what it is based on a YouTube video because this is something you'd have to see for yourself. The only thing I can give you is information on this cable right now to let you know that if you have 8K devices, whether it be a gaming system or any other thing that support 8K in your house, then I would recommend you get an 8K cable, HDMI cable that is, to support each one of those connections. Right, so the TV, 8K, your device, 8K, get an 8K cable, all right, because you don't want to get a 4K, right? You're just going to be limited to the bandwidth that that cable supports. You need the 8K, all right? So I hope we get that over with. So the thing about 8K is it's a higher bandwidth. It's definitely a higher bandwidth. So the more you go up the ladder, the better the pictures look, for instance. One time it was 480p, then it went up to 720p, then 1080p, and they decided to stop doing P's anymore, even though technically 4K is a P too, but it sounds better if you just say 4K and then 8K. I'm pretty sure somewhere in the long distant future, who knows where? It might be a 16K, who knows? But for now, we got... 4k as the popular thing certified cable don't just get any kind of cable all right most of these cables are tested and the only reason why they get certified is because they are tested and they're capable of supporting the bandwidth that they claim they are on the boxes okay now the next thing i want to talk about is length when it comes to hdmi cable this being a k or any other cable you want to get the shortest cable as possible so bring your device and the tv to the closest possible proximity. You know, don't have them all stretched out where you have your device on another side of the, the wall and your TV over here and you're running this long cable. No, all right? Don't do it that way. Make sure your cables are real close. That way you don't lose a lot of signal. Now you can run long HDMI cable and I will be covering that in another video because you need a special cable when it comes to length because you can go pretty far with HDMI cable. And I know they sell some out there that's real long, but get the shortest cable possible. So I hope that information has helped you a little bit in selecting cables. Now I'm not telling you not to get 8K cables, right? Even if you get 8K cable and your device is only 4K and your TV is only 4K, then that's fine, it'll still work. It's overkill, but it will still work. So you don't want to overkill your cable spending. You don't want to spend extra on cables that you're not going to get the benefit out of. Now, if you're trying to future-proof yourself, then it's okay to go and get those cables, all right? Then when you get your new device, it's all about just switching out the device because you already have the cables to support those new devices. But stick with 4K if you only have 4K devices. But if you're in the market to get 8K cables now, I'm going to recommend these cables to you, all right? I already checked out these cables based on the specification. Like I said, even if I had 
something to show you the picture of what it looks like it's not gonna do any good coming to a YouTube videos all right so that's not gonna help you out I'm not gonna waste your time trying to show you what it looks like because there's no way you're gonna see what it looks like so you have to experience it for yourself now if you really want to experience it you want to go down to your local electronic store and ask them to show you what an 8k TV look like because more than likely they are using devices that's putting out 8k and they use an 8k cable to show you what the picture looks like in 8k because that's what they're going to use to sell you the TV all right they're not going to use some low-grade cable that's 4k or 1080p or anything like that to connect device for the demo to show you all right so you can tell by that looking at that picture if you're looking in the market of getting that 8k tv that's the best way to just visualize look at it and see what it looks like to you and if you like what you see when you come home make sure you have the right cable to get that picture quality that you saw in the store all right so that's what i'm trying to recommend right here now like i say if you're in the market for looking for some cables for your 8k devices here you go so i'm going to leave a link in the description for these particular cables all right so you can pick them up and make your tv experience your 8k tv that is experience much better because you have the right cable for the job all right down in the description thanks for taking the time for watching have a good one and i'll see you next time